Warning, this review may contain spoilers, strong language, violence, and content of a graphic nature. It may not be suitable for some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello, and welcome to another Trick or Treat Horror Fest movie review. I'm DJ Surreal with Descent Sundays, and today we're going to talk about The Quiet Ones. So this movie, um, initially I kind of had some mixed feelings about, but the more I thought about it, the more I decided I didn't like it. Um, it's done in a semi-found footage sort of style. Um, it's sort of done documentary style, but not the whole the whole thing isn't shot that way. It's sort of shot in segments like that um, to sort of carry on the effect, but then you also just see the um, the characters interact. Um, so they're dealing with a, a girl who's mentally ill and they um, are trying to cure her. And I realize that this is supposed to be set um, back when psychiatry and psychology was more of a, it was more in its beginning stages, its baby stages, and they hadn't really, there wasn't such a thing as like the ethics board or whatever have you. Um, but despite that, like this, is, this whole experiment was wildly unethical. They kept her awake for days. Um, they put her through all sorts of weird sort of kind of torture. Um, and as the movie went on, they got more and more unethical. And so that was kind of hard because it just, I don't know, I just didn't feel like it was worth it or valid. Um, the other thing too is that the cameraman has sort of developed this like weird romantic attachment to the patient and yet they just let him remain even though like things got kind of inappropriate. So it was kind of like, okay, well that's kind of weird. Like... I also didn't like the fact, I mean, the cast for this movie is relatively small. It's more or less the, you get the four, the, well, the three core researchers, the videographer, and then the patient. So it's more or less essentially a five person cast for the majority of the movie. Small cast of movies aren't necessarily bad, but this one lacked luster. Um, they ended up moving into this house to complete the experiment and all this weird stuff keeps happening and then they say how like they pretty much stop seeing other people and like in terms of like the other students stopped going to their classes and they were just there all the time and all this weird stuff happens and you eventually find out it's kind of more of a possession story where the chick is actually possessed by this this demon entity and um she has like telekinetic powers and stuff like that and i don't know the whole thing like the patient too, she seems to like have this weird, like it's, it's very unbalanced in terms of whether or not it's a split part of her personality or a demon. And like, she's very, I don't know, it's very all over the place and it wasn't very well done. It's, and, uh, it wasn't very clear. And then at the end, they just, it, it was almost like at the end they decided, oh no, it's really a demon possession because we're just going to kill everybody except for one person. And then at the end, we're going to show him in a mental asylum and start to show him doing the telekinetic stuff. Anyway, it wasn't very good. Um, and, uh, yeah, I would definitely not necessarily recommend this film, but a little bit of a trick. Anyway, so that's sort of my, my rant about The Quiet Ones. Um, not really a spectacular movie. So there you have it, Tobo Trick. Uh, anyway, join me tomorrow for another horror movie review. Have a good night.